put together. <coughs> Surgeons cut off my head and sewed it back on. <laughs> Based on a headline in the Weekly World News. <laughs> now you've done it, I screamed. Well, I meant to scream. <laughs> Awfully hard to scream when your head is having an off-body <coughs> experience. <laughs> Something about having your voice box distance from your diaphragm when there's on separate steel tables about five feet apart. I was blinking rapidly, trying to get someone's attention, when in true <coughs> sci-fi form the balding doc put finger to cheek and crooned, Oops! Butterfingers! <laughs> He looked me in the eye and then transferred his gaze to my midsection as if trying to ascertain which body part he should address. As if wondering if I had noticed the slip. Well, I had. <laughs> <laughs> Smiling coyly while wiping away a bit of perspiration, he asked, Do you need any discomfort? <laughs> Then calling the operation a success, he blasely blathered on about the marvelous role medical science was playing in helping patients with mobility issues. I could have spent what was left of my life floating Sam's body in a jar of formaldehyde, but a quick thinking nurse dove like a wide receiver, scooped up my head and made with the flesh colored duct tape. Well, the rest. Well, call it history or a miracle, you pick. My swift-fingered savior offered to have her team candy stripes <coughs> stitch me up. But I opted to leave the rather dashing faux turtleneck in situ. <laughs> At least I don't have a noticeable scar. The tape is long-wearing and matches most of my clothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh sure, some of the mind-body connections are still spotty. I'll never play the piano again. <laughs> and no, I couldn't play it before the operation either. <laughs> but don't tell that to my lawyers. <laughs>